the FMS 1700 millimeter Tiger Cat and some of those guys that are uh, having problems with intermittent connections on the PCB board um, while they're flying, there's a little idea that actually Rich Baker and I did here a while back, and I thought I'd go ahead and put together a real quick little video and post it. If you'll take this PCB board that's on the fuselage side, you don't have to do anything with the one on the wing side, and take out these three screws right here. I've already mounted mine, so I'm going to take these out real quick. And on, a, you know, on the other side, I actually only have two screws in it. For demonstration purposes, I'm showing this side that has all four in it. And you'll notice they come out pretty easy. They're kind of short here. A magnetic screwdriver really helps a little bit here. You'll notice I've got a magnet on my screwdriver here to help hold these. Come on off there, guy. You don't need to be there. I'm done with you. And anyway, take this board out. This board is actually in here when you when you get it brand new, kind of tight. Okay? Don't pull or squeeze on any of these little connections here. These little especially the one that's that's a pin here on the bottom. You don't want to depress any of those tangs that are on there because they help make the connection but reach in from the back side here I'll show you the other side here you can see you got easy access to it reach in from the back side and push it out okay and keep mindful of the orientation that the pins on the bottom and the socket is on top here so let me loosen my wires here pull this guy out we took a sanding board, you'll notice here, we took just a little bit of sanding and we sanded the edges all the way around this uh, PCB board to loosen the fit. And we also, you'll notice, rounded the corners. Now, in addition, I kind of reamed out these holes, let me back out here, I reamed out these holes so that, so that the screws fit in here a lot looser than they originally do. Okay, there's not a lot of material there, but you can ream those out, drill them out just up uh, next size up, and make it so that the screws fit in here, and there's a loose fit. The idea being that when you put this board back in, you want it to be able to pivot up and down with the mating connector that's going to mate with it, which is the wing side. When it flexes, this board will follow it and orbit with it, okay? and keep it from wanting to try and pull apart. If you've actually got the wings connected and the screws in here, there's no way for these two boards, when they're connected with each other, to come apart. I've actually checked it. But they can slightly pull apart if they're, if they're orbiting. Plus, you run the risk of breaking one of these pins when you've got two, when you've got two matters. Let's see if I can get my fingers in here. Let me put them in here. If you take, I get the lens here. You take two pins and put them together like this. They need to be able to move. Uh, it's not not working real well here, but anyway, you take two pins. They need to be able to move together like this and not like this. Okay, and that's the idea about making this board floating or orbit. So you can see that I sanded down a little bit, and it does not take much at all. So that it fits a lot looser in this square hole in there. So now I've, I put it back in there. Okay. Now then, I'm gonna reach down here. I'll get one of the one of the screws if my magnet doesn't want to grab onto all of them here. And trying to do this one-handed and hold the camera phone at the same time is not the easiest thing to do. But anyway, put these back in there. And you can tighten them all the way down and then back them off about two turns. I just put them in right about like, like so. And I'm going to show you what this is like with actually two screws. You can actually remove two and it's, and it's well. This will help maintain the uh, plug and play ability of the wing so you don't have to manually plug, take this out and plug it in back and forth. Now then, this board will orbit, and it doesn't need to orbit much, but yet it's still secured so that when I plug the wing onto it, I can still pull it off without the board coming all the way out. So now when I plug the wing to it, and the wing flexes up or, or, or down a little bit, this board will pivot with the stationary board that's mounted on the wing, 
and you have a less likely chance of there being stress on the two pins that are mated together on each one of these holes. Okay, so now you've got the board orbiting. So now when the wing flexes up, the board will move with the board that's actually in the wing that it's that it's plugged into. And a little bit here is actually a lot at the wing at the wing tip. I actually tested this earlier, and what I've got here. You actually have to force the wing peck to the point where it would, it would almost break, and the wing is not flexing that much in the in the uh, in the air. Okay, because I've got I've got quite a few flights on two of these models that I've been beta testing, but there's a quick fix. Two screws actually works good. You can put all four in there. Just make sure that they're all four backed off about the same distance, and that's what I've done for a quick fix for this orbiting situation where guys are having intermittent plus it also allows it to pivot back and forth for any kind of shift even though the main concern is flexing up and down but orbit like this now when it's connected everything will move together that needs to stay stationary and you only need to do this on the fuselage side you can leave the wing side alone just like it is and not have to do anything on the back side of this if you'll look down inside there, those two servo connectors, and I'm going to take this guy back off here again because another important thing to do here is to actually secure the two servo style special connectors that are on here, and they are not wired like a normal servo connector, so you have to make sure you put them back in the same orientation and the same set of plugs, otherwise you'll blow the system because it works on a bus system. The other recommendation I make is make sure that they are seated down really good. This is one you also want to check on the wing side. And then I recommend running a bead of foam tack around the base of it right there between the servo and the, the pins to secure it in place. You're not ever going to take these off unless you have to replace one of these. But that'll keep these servo connections, which is if they're not plugged down really tight onto this board, having a connection problem. So you can see where I ran some foam tack along the joint right there, actually all the way to the board. I actually want to make sure that it's stuck, that they're stuck down to the board so that they can't, uh, you know, I won't say vibrate loose, but they can't pull loose or anything because they're going to be moving like, like this. Also, Rich posted earlier in a video on a little trip, a, a trick on how to make these pins fit better and more secure down on the pins that they screw into or that they plug into so that you have a stronger electrical connection and that's that's a really that's a really good tip by him and i actually do it to all mine it's just kind of a thing but uh normal thing i've been doing all the, when you get pins like this especially with uh provided products and stuff like that make sure the little tang that's down in there that makes the pin is actually got a dent in it and adding a little bit more to it Helps make sure you get a nice, tight, snug fit, and then secure the whole connector down. Okay, and you'll notice that this is actually red black, and the blacks are crossed on here between the two different type connectors because this feeds a bus board that's right there. Okay, those two big white MPX connectors. So try and make sure that these don't come off, and if they do, here's a little picture on it. But you'll notice the black wire on this side of this connector right here is actually coming from this lead over here and they're cro and they're crossed over and you'll notice that the red whoops let me flip that back around here you notice that the red is in the middle on this one it's white red black whereas on this one it's red black white and the black is actually coming from the other side and the black from this side is going to this side because they feed different pins. These are the two power pins right here, and then you've got you know, you've got the lights, uh, lights S1, S6, and so forth. But anyway, this is flap, flap two, the inboard flap, outboard flap, ailerons, and then power for the lights and positive negative that feeds all of these. Okay, and then make sure that you put it back on in the same way. You know, and I have to look at mine. Actually, the pin is supposed to be on the bottom. So they've got this so that you can't accidentally get it flipped upside down. And then put the screws in there. And it wouldn't even hurt if you could take a toothpick and put just a little bit of foam tack in that hole since you're not having the screw all the way down to whichever, 
two you put on there or all four on all four I had all four originally on this side but just back the screws off so that this will pivot remember you're gonna have to sand the side of this board and you'll notice I rounded the corners right here and then I just slightly sand it down here it didn't take much at all so that I have a looser fit so that this will have some free play inside this hole and with it with it backed off like that it actually allows it to pin so that when the wings made it to it this actually will be pushed up pushed back and plugged in but when the wing moves this this board right here will now move with the wing and keep it from becoming an intermittent connection and possibly having a problem or losing the whole connection side when you're playing i hope this helped guys i hope this uh helps you guys out a little bit here this is just one of the things we've done we did it a while back and it never really got talked about so i'm trying to i made a post on rcg about this i thought i'd throw up a little quick phone video and see what you see what i had done here to help help that i have not had any problems and i have yanked and banked on it big time couple other things I'm doing I've actually I'm fixing to add a subfloor back here because I'm fixing to put either a gyro and I'm looking at a speaker system in here but anyway there's the production version I've got to test my second one so hope that helps talk to you guys later got any questions you can get a hold of me in groups you know where I'm at have a good one guys happy flying